Good morning. Welcome to Amy Mac Cooks. You know, I'm not a morning person, but I really like avocado toast. The problem is, getting avocado toast generally involves going to a restaurant that's full of people and hipsters and other things that make my ass twitch. So, I figured out how to make avocado toast at home, so I'm going to show you how to do it, too. You might think avocado toast is full of exotic ingredients and really difficult to make, but actually it couldn't be simpler. All you need is some uh, bread, some holy guacamole, an egg, a frying pan, a toaster, some salt and pepper, and if you really want to get crazy, <laughs> you can add some Tabasco, some shallots, um, and in order to uh, grease up my pan, I've got a little bit of uh, spray olive oil back there. The other great thing about this dish is it's extremely low calorie, under 260 calories. So without further ado, let's get started on making this bad boy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, saute our shallots. So I'm going to spray a little bit of uh, some uh, spray olive oil in a already heated uh, ceramic nonstick pan. And pro tip with the uh, ceramic nonstick pan, a lot of people complain that they start to lose their nonstick capabilities after a while. Make sure if you're using ceramic nonstick, you only ever cook on low heat. Don't go up to high. You cannot cook this, cook with that particular type of cookware on high heat or it will start to lose its nonstick properties. So make sure you're cooking those with that on a lower heat. Makes it perfect for things like eggs because you don't need to cook eggs um, at a higher heat. Um, you need to cook eggs low and slow. So what I've got here is uh, one shallot roughly minced. I'm gonna drop that into our pan uh, that's already heated. And all we need to do with this is um, just get those lightly cooked a little bit, uh, take some of the raw edge off, um, and uh, have them develop some of the sweetness, get it caramelized just a little bit, uh, because what we're gonna do with these is we're going to top our egg and toast uh, with the shallots, because, you know, I don't do anything half-assed. <laughs> I like a little extra flavor, um, and when you're, when you're eating low-cal, one of the things that, you know, you want to do is have some extra flavors to make it taste good. So, I will bring you back uh, once these are cooked up. Okay, our uh, shallots have cooked up nicely, and you may be asking, how can I tell if they're done? These take very little time to cook, so 30 seconds to a minute. When they start to smell oniony and sweet um, and very fragrant, you know they're done really very little time at all at a fairly low heat they're like a, they're like garlic they quick up they quick up <laughs> they cook up very quickly so no time at all on these for a lot of payoff so let's start working on the egg and the toast so you're going to want to start your toast prior to cooking your egg because the toast is a bed for the egg and you're going to want to put the holy guacamole on your toast before you lay your egg down. So, you want this to get done ahead of the egg. So make sure you start your uh, your toast first. Now, if you don't have a fancy toaster oven like this, don't worry about it. A regular toaster will work just fine. All right, I am going to crack one large egg into my skillet, like so. And then of course, I am going to uh, put some salt. I like to use sea salt. And some pepper. Harden my hands on it just for added flavor. Now, don't touch it. <laughs> I have found throughout my cooking career that making sunny side eggs, sunny side up eggs is a very difficult thing. The uh, ceramic Non-stick skillet is my friend. It cooks, uh, it cooks sunny side up eggs just perfectly. All I have to do is put some of that non-stick oil in there and walk away from the pan until this outer ring up here next to the yolk is fully set and not clear. And trust me, you will know when it's done, I will bring you back 
when it's fully cooked and you'll be able to tell um, that it's fully cooked. And at that point, it is just going to beautifully slide right out of the pan onto our toast. All right, have a look at that egg. That is a perfectly cooked sunny side up egg. It is now ready for me to loosen the edges and dump it over my toast. All right, there is our lovely uh, toast with the uh, holy guacamole on it. Now I am just simply going to lay that beautiful sunny side up egg right over the top of the toast, just like that. Now, for some added goodness, I'm putting those beautiful shallots on top. And then I'm gonna add some Tabasco sauce to the party because, you know, Amy Mac cannot live without her hot sauce. So putting a little garlic hot sauce on top of this. And there you go, there is our lovely finished product. So now there is nothing left to do but give this a taste and see how it is. All right, now time for the moment of truth. It's time to taste our avocado toast. So let's get ourselves a nice big yolky bite. Here we go. Good stuff. The shallots add a nice oniony sweetness. The yolk is nice and creamy. And of course, the avocado is nice and creamy. I didn't have to chop up any avocado because I used the holy guacamole. The only thing I had to cut up was that uh, shallot. Now, if you don't like shallot, you don't have to add it. You could use green onion. I would not recommend using an entire, like using a regular onion because it's just too much for that small of a thing. Now, if you saw in the, uh, when I was showing you the ingredients, um, I used Dave's Killer Bread, the 60 uh, calorie slices to keep this uh, under 260 calories. It tastes great. It's good for you. Lots of fiber. So that's great. Now, if you don't like sunny side up eggs, of course you could do a, 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 a over easy or over hard. You could also do scrambled eggs. You do you. Um, if you don't want to do uh, any sort of onion topping, you could also use goat cheese. It's actually quite good with a little crumbled up goat cheese on the top, and that's also fairly low cal. So, lots of options with this. It's a very tasty breakfast. It takes under 10 minutes to make, so if you get up a little earlier in the morning, you could even have this on a weekday um, and not wait for it to be a weekend thing. So, there you go. That is avocado toast at home without the annoying people. <laughs> and just remember, if Amy Mac cooks, so can just about everybody else. Hope you're having a lovely day. Talk to you soon.